Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can add the ads.txt file on cPanel. So let's get right into it. What cPanel is, it's basically an online Linux based uh, graphical user interface, uh, which makes uh, managing a site and managing the servers for that site much, much easier. And what the ads.txt file is, uh, let me just scroll down here and show you. It is uh, basically authorized digital sellers, uh, main, meaning that it provides the list of advertisers or companies that can sell their services and offers through your site. And it pretty much is mandatory if your website is going to display ads. Uh, but yeah, here I'm going to be showing you how you can add this file to your uh, site on, through cPanel. Uh, this article here uses, I think, WordPress. So let's get right into it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, to add it, what you want to do is go to your uh, WordPress admin dashboard. Uh, I have another tutorial that explains how to get there through cPanel. So please check that out. Uh, once you do hover your mouse or click on plugins and then click add new, then search for the ads.txt manager and then click install. After the installation, what you want to do is click on activate and then it should be activated. Now, when you're done activating the plugin, uh, you need to find a new option embedded into your settings menu, uh, hover over your settings options and reveal the context menu and click on ads.txt to enter the file. Uh, once you do, click the save button and that's pretty much it. To add it on WordPress via cPanel, what you want to do is log into your cPanel, uh, then look out uh, and click on the file manager, then locate the website files, usually under uh, public HTML uh, on your uh, if your site uh, that's hosted on the shared hosting account, then the folder where your website files are saved might be different, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, scroll down, look out for the ads.txt file. If you can see it, create a new one and then highlight the ads, then edit uh, the file and then paste the ads.txt file, which you've copied uh, from your ad provider. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.